Hey Aquarius, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be a reading for the next 48 hours. The moon is in Aquarius from the 12th through the 13th, so I figured what better time than to do a reading for the next 48 hours for Aquarius. And this is for Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. So let's just jump right in and see what's in store for you in the next 48 and if you like this style of reading, then let me know in the comments down below, and I'd love to keep doing these for you all. Alright, so we have the Three of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So the next 48 hours could be about a truth that is being revealed, something that is coming to the light. Um, feels like clarity, it feels like closure as well. So maybe some of you are in a situation where you haven't had the closure that you needed in order to really be able to move on from something, but it feels like that's what's happening very soon. And it feels like it's not only necessary for your emotional productivity, right? And your ability to kind of move from, move on from things and be able to process the feelings that are coming after, you know, the aftermath of a situation, but also for your own personal, uh, let's see, it's like, for your ability to be successful, this is also necessary for your work productivity, your creative, um, you know, ventures, the things that you need to pour your energy into. It feels like having this closure or this opportunity to fully kind of close a chapter and process things is going to be really um, beneficial for your financial and your, um, you know, work related goals and objectives, because I feel like the situation um, could be one of those that has taken a lot of your time, a lot of your energy, right? A lot of your, um, maybe even your love, right? For the things that you normally enjoy. So it feels like it's going to be very refreshing and um, it's going to bring things to a positive light here. So we have the lovers, which is Gemini, Ace of Wands, the Chariot, which is Cancer, and the Ten of Pentacles. So we love to see the Ten of Pentacles. And I really think that this is kind of like the culminating moment here for you where you realize you know that yes the situation was difficult but I'm finally on the other side of it and I feel like um, in the next 48 hours you could be feeling a great sense of relief and inspiration to continue to do the things that you need to do I feel like the chariot is also kind of emphasizing the progress right the momentum the movement of being you know in a different place and a different time uh, kind of like embracing the new chapter in your life and maybe in the next 48 hours you and you may have to do some sort of traveling maybe you have to go somewhere right it's like the chariot is also the card for um you know vehicles so maybe you have to physically get in your car and go somewhere like i feel like maybe in that moment you may have a sense of um, euphoria right it's like sometimes we get these random epiphanies in in you know, these times in our lives. And I don't know, it's like, I'm getting trying to, you know, explain this visual that I have of like someone just like driving their car, you know, like maybe during the daytime when the sun is out, or maybe at nighttime, right, depending when you enjoy driving the most. And, you know, you're just kind of in the moment, really just embracing the freedom of that, you know, being able to just uh, go somewhere and not have to worry about, you know, anything else. I don't know, there's there's something about that free free energy that's coming through. I just can't really describe it too well, but I feel like the lovers could also indicate that maybe you're making space for a true connection in your life. And so um, as you're receiving closure from a past situation, you're also embracing the space that you have to accept or allow a new relationship or a new connection into your life. It feels like um, you're actually moving towards what you really wanted all along and you're finally saying goodbye to the thing that you were never interested in. So for some reason, it feels like maybe some of you even had to make some sort of sacrifice and you had to put someone or something that you really desired on the side in order to meet some sort of objective and now you're free from that. You're free from some sort of limiting uh, situation and that Ten of Pentacles is saying now you get to you know, have what you really wanted all along. So really interesting energies coming through, very um, passionate, very intense, very emotional. So let's go ahead and clarify the lovers.
All right, King of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like the King of Pentacles could refer to maybe the person in your life that you are um, most looking forward to being with. Or maybe this is the person that is a part of this new chapter of yours. Maybe this is someone that is joining you along for the ride in the next 48 hours you know as you are embracing kind of the freedom and the liberty that you have to choose for yourself at this time so we have the ace of cups the six of swords and the queen of wands i really feel like a lot of you are embracing love in some way shape or form in your life at this time aquarius whether this is love for yourself love with a person maybe even this is the love that you're putting to a project Right, and putting into a hobby or something that you've wanted to work on again for so long. It's like that passion is finally, you know, coming out and you're making moves, right? You're moving forward, moving closer to achieving things. And that six of swords could mean that, you know, maybe you had to um, get out of your comfort zone in order to make that happen. But I feel like now as you're feeling more inspired and in, in a better place mentally, I feel like the fear doesn't exist anymore you know that fear that comes with getting out of your comfort zone and going to foreign places and you know having to do things that are in a different environment it's like that's not there anymore you're you're more excited about just the fact that you get to do it and so i think that the queen of wands could be your energy just kind of you're embracing the fact that you're thriving now you're embracing the fact that you have this new opportunity or you have this chance to roam freely and go wherever your heart desires right it's like you're embracing the energy of air truly you know not only because it's your element but i feel like you are air at this time you're taking up the space of wherever you want to be you're flowing naturally you know going with the wind i mean there's so many phrases that i could use to describe this but i really love it because i think that you've you've been needing this for a long time or desiring it for a while right and so it's happening and it's happening very very fast for sure so let's go ahead and clarify that ace of cups and we have justice definitely feels like this is a karmic justice moment for you i feel like the next 48 hours could be a defining moment right for this month right maybe even for this year i feel like you could be embracing um you know the ending of a very tough cycle in your life but you know with that ending there there's coming um you know kind of like a sense of victory you know it's like you're reclaiming your power there's a uh, Maybe there was some sort of legal situation as well. Maybe that's why the justice is coming through. It's like you were dealing with all the things, right? The stress of it, the logistics, right? The um, Maybe there was paperwork involved. Maybe there was unnecessary or unwanted communication that you had to interact with. It's like whatever you went through, it was a lot. And you had to use so much of your energy in so many different ways that, you know, you could be thinking back to that whole experience and asking yourself, I don't know. How i did it or you know how was i able to do it so we have the five of cups queen of cups and the nine of swords so i feel like the nine of swords is representing kind of like the amount of effort that you had to put into finding the solution and the fact that maybe you're just so overwhelmed and tired and exhausted that in the next 48 hours you are just looking forward to these de-stressing right disconnecting and just having fun i feel like this is going to be a fun couple of days for you just because you're really kind of walking away from some of those uh, very strong and negative emotions the sadness right whatever you know it brought you whatever the situation brought to your life it's like you're really gonna just release all of that in the next 48 it's like a total detox right queen of cups because you're gonna need all that space to recharge and, and fill yourself with love and with abundance and all these positive things that are happening in your life. So you're really kind of just making space here. Um, and I think that the next 48 hours are going to really shed light into what you have to look forward to in the near future. So really love this for you. Hope you take it all in. And if you like this reading and it resonated, please give it a like, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.